First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekah Kwadash, and the Bible Souls Great Millstone, and also to the Ophelak that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And the type D lesson is Florida Dengue Alert. So I like to say, Shalom, to all our lesson learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So before we start today's lesson, I have a quick news article here by CBS News. And it reads, it said, Dengue fever alert issued in Florida Keys after confirmed cases. Let's get a little bit more. It says here, it said, Miami health official has issued an alert in the Florida Keys after two people were confirmed to have a, a dengue fever. The local alert comes days after the CDC issued a health advisory warning of an increased risk of dengue infections in the country. The two confirmed dengue cases in the Keys were locally acquired, which means the people didn't get sick while traveling uh, Miami-Dade County said has also reported locally said, uh, acquired dengue cases this year. So we're seeing right here that a lot of these things are constantly picking up, you know, these uh, these pestilence, these plagues, you know, all, you know, all, all around the world constantly uh, increasing, you know. So the Lord already said, that he, you know, there will be pestilence, you know, there will be all sorts of plagues, you know, on every side. And they will not slack down for a moment. And one thing about it, we're not ignorant of what Satan devises, his agenda, his plan. So we already know what happened back in, uh, I think it was back in last year, I believe it was. It might have been earlier than that, that uh, I think it was Bill Gates that he uh, had released, I think over a, um, a billion um, a mosquito, GM, GMO, uh, what you call uh, 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 genetic, genetically modified mosquitoes uh, in, into uh, Florida, released them into Florida to help to combat uh, this uh, this uh, disease. But now it's saying that it's, it is increasing, it's getting worse. So, you know, one thing about it, once again, we're not ignorant of Satan's device, his agenda, his plan, his evil scheme. So one thing about it, we're seeing that you know, a lot of things are constantly uh, happening. You know, a lot of people are getting sick. A lot of people are coming with unalive in a great number. And out about, we already know that the water, you know what I'm saying, is, is, is poison. We know that the air is poison. We know, you know, that the food is poison. Also, we you know they got these uh, uh, genetic modified um, insects, you know, constantly, you know, you know, which in fact is a, what's called a bio weapon. You know, we don't want to go any too far, but you can look all this information up, but we see it right here. This, uh, 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 dengue, uh, fever, you know, it's, 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 it's constantly on the rise. It's constantly increasing right there in Florida. And also, uh, is it, our cases, uh, in Texas also. So we see it right here that things are constantly picking up so they can use this for some type of uh, 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 pandemic or they can say we're going to have to cause a lockdown because of this or cause of that so you see seeing where all this is going also we already knowing about the bird flu you know it's an outbreak also uh, this uh, new uh, ringworm uh, SD, STD uh, outbreak where all these uh, 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 diseases coming from you understand what I'm saying so we know that had this been engineered or manufactured but it's been engineered and manufactured from who? Yahweh, by Hashim Yahweh We know that that left hand energy is working. But one thing about it, that we we seeing that they're they're constantly getting ready to bring it forward. You know, the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. So he's gonna use everything at his disposal because he knowing that his time is very short. So let's read the title. Let's read this once again. It said, "Den Den Dengue Fever Alert Issued in Florida Keys After Confirmed Cases." So. We're going to constantly see these things pop up left and right. You know, they can't constantly tell you about this bird flu. You know, it's constantly uh, increasing. You know, it's getting worse and worse. You know, we might have to call it a lockdown. We might have to tell you to stay in your house for several days. So you understand what I'm saying? So they're getting ready to bring forth their agenda. We're in this transition period into this digital society. So all road lead to the what? That grain of rice and also deep population. Look all these things up. You know, I don't want to talk too much on a lot of different things. The WHO, also the CDC and also the WEF, a lot of 
uh, things are on this particular topic right here. So we see seeing right now that the men of the Lord, we constantly warn you all these things. You know, we're telling you about pestilence and wars and the evil time that we have never seen before. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Florida uh, Dengue Alert. So let's get a quick precept before we start the day video. Let's go here. It says here, it says, lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices. So let's read in the NLT. It said, so that Satan will not uh, outsmart us for we are familiar with his evil schemes. So one thing about it, who is the physical counterpart of Satan? That is the what Esau Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of. And also, you know, he's trying to get that advantage. What is that advantage? Total control, you know, depopulation. Also, you know, bring forth this uh, new pandemic or what lockdowns or what mandates we're seeing it happening right before our eyes so when you go into that word device it goes into his mindset you know his agenda his evil scheme his plan his plot and one thing about it we already know you know the wicked devices that he he's constantly using from the what the left hand side but one thing about it, the lord is in perfect control so he's trying to get that advantage and one thing about it you know while you are sleeping the devil is constantly getting busy and in the middle of law we're constantly warning you left and right and one thing about it, the lord said warn them for me and one thing about it, that we're seeing that a lot of people will be taken in a great number so let's go here uh let's go here to uh second areas let's get another one right quick let's go here to second areas uh right quick before we start the day video second areas chapter five and verse one Second Aries chapter five. Second Aries chapter five and verse one. And it reads said, Nevertheless, as uh, the coming the tokens are the prophecies or the signs of the time. Say, Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. And the land shall be barren of faith. So one thing about it, a lot of people gonna be taken in a great number because of what the wars of the what are uh, the what the sword, the modern day sword is what is the gun, and also these pestilence, the disease. You know what I'm saying? What uh, 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 dengue, this bird flu, this uh, disease X, uh, ringworm, STD, all sorts of of viruses and diseases they constantly warning you about you know and one thing about it also they saying that this the c19 is on the rise again and also we know that that hokey pokey is coming back into play so many shall be taken in a great number so because one thing about it we know that these are the devices that he used for what total control and one thing about it control the food control the people control uh, uh your resources you know your 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 food, you know what I'm saying, your, your everyday life, you know, you're going to control you, you know, left and right, we constantly seeing these things happening left and right, one world currency, one world religion, and one world uh, 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 government, you know, we're seeing that it's constantly happening right before our eye, but one thing about it, we knowing that, you know, uh, Bill Gates always stressing about depopulation, also the WEF, you know, so the WHO also, so we're seeing right now, they constantly imagine a vain thing, so they put these, uh, these mosquitoes, they release these mosquitoes in uh in Florida. These uh genetically modified you no know, insects said to help to combat this uh this uh disease. But one thing about it, it has gotten worse. And one thing about it, we're not ignorant of Satan devices once again. So now we'll start the day video. And also the land shall be barren of faith. You know, we know that family of the words come. Also, a great family is coming. You know, it's a pestilence. All sorts of calamities and catastrophe all around the world. You know, we know that these things gonna constantly pick up. We seeing that we're here. We seeing that the signs of the times are here. So now let's start the day's uh video. And after the video, we'll start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. There's growing concern about the local spread of the dengue fever. Two people in the Keys have caught the mosquito-borne illness locally, meaning they did not get it while traveling. Nationally, there have been more than 2,200 cases of dengue fever this year. Only six people, though, caught it in the continental U.S. The vast majority of the cases were people who had traveled internationally. Severe dengue can be deadly or even lead to internal bleeding. Dengue fever is a viral infection that is transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito. The symptoms of dengue fever typically develop within 4 to 10 days after a person has been bitten by an infected mosquito. 1. High fever, up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. 2. Severe headache, often behind the eyes. 3. Joint and muscle pain. 4. Nausea and vomiting. 5. Skin rash which may appear two to five days after the onset of fever. Six, mild bleeding, such as bleeding gums or nosebleeds. Seven, 
abdominal pain. 8. Loss of appetite. 9. Fatigue. If you suspect you have dengue fever, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. They may conduct blood tests and other tests to confirm. Thank you. Please like and subscribe for more symptoms. The release of a billion GMO mosquitoes has begun. They're being released in the Florida Keys as part of a plan to curb mosquito-borne illnesses like dengue, yellow fever, and Zika, and this is the first time they've been released in the U.S. The British biotech company releasing them is called Oxitec, and they obtained an experimental use permit from the EPA to release the mosquitoes on 6,000 acres across Florida and Texas. But a 2019 Yale University study warned the plan could backfire, creating hybrid mosquito babies that are actually more resistant to insecticides, and this could worsen the spread of the diseases. What could possibly go wrong? So we're seeing that, you know, what they're doing, you know, we're seeing that they're constantly bringing forward a what, another what? pandemic you know what i'm saying right before i you know telling you that uh increase this uh this the uh outbreak over here whatever like that but we seeing that they causing these things to constantly happen left and right but the lord's getting ready to return to cut off a long disease you know and the lord is going to destroy uh them that what destroy the earth so we see it right now he's constantly trying to bring forth his evil agenda his plan his evil uh scheme his plot but one thing about it but we're knowing the men of the law, we constantly, you know what I'm saying, uh, being a watchman, you know, we constantly telling you about all these appended dangers left and right. If you know something, say something. And one thing about it, that's what the men of the Lord are doing. The Lord said, warn them for me. So now, let's start here. A very quick lesson through the spirit of power. Uh, yeah, how about you? I'm just going rolling in the spirit with this one. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 15. Let's get this one right quick. Scroll down to it one moment. <laughs> Very quick lesson. Let's see here. Let's go start right here. Let me highlight it right quick. Uh, and it reads, said, The sword is without, and the pestilence, and the famine within. Say, so He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence, shall devour devour him so we're seeing that right now that wants to get ready to come the lord's getting ready to bring for uh massive judgment you know that sword goes into judgment and also that sword goes into the what the modern day gun you know what i'm saying it's, it's going to be all sorts of mayhem you know what i'm saying mischief you know all sorts of uh death and destruction also it says here pestilence you know pestilence goes into what plagues disease you know all these things are coming you know what i'm saying the lord said you know i make a lie you know i kill i wound you know i do all these things so the lord is going to all these things that come upon famine, you know what I'm saying? Food shortage, you know what I'm saying? Rolling blackout, cyber attacks, uh, um, starvation is coming in a big way, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people gonna be, hey, be what? Unalive in a great number. We're seeing it right now. So these, um, these famine, these pestilence, and the sword is gonna devour a whole, a lot of people because the Lord is bringing forth this judgment each and every day. Let's read it in the uh, NLT, he said, there is war outside the city and disease and famine within that those outside the city walls will be killed by the enemy the uh, enemy souls said those inside the city will die of famine and disease so see, one thing about it is no escape in the hands of yahweh by shima child you know one thing about it, the lord said he shall choose your delusion and one thing about that rebellious house that did not want to return to him so we're seeing all these things are constantly happening a lot of people still are not aware still are not considering the signs of the time and they are right before our eye and these things are constantly increasing they're getting ready to, what, to escalate so the body count is getting ready to be very great it constantly warning you little by little and all of a sudden they can call it what uh, a lockdown or some type of climate a crisis lockdown or some type of uh, disease outbreak you understand what I'm saying so we're seeing that we're here. These things are at the door. The men of the Lord will constantly warn you. And the devil is getting ready to come down with what? With great wrath. Let's go here to Psalms. Let's go here to Psalm chapter. Psalm chapter 91. Psalm chapter 91 is something I want to get out of here. Psalm chapter 91 and verse. Let's see, Psalm chapter 91. And we'll start up at the top at verse, uh, at verse 1. Psalm 91 and verse 1 say he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty uh verse uh two said said and i will say uh of the lord and i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress 
my power in him will I trust. So when each time of trouble come upon us, you know, we, we constantly warning people left and right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the secret place of Yahweh, Baal Shem is this what? This wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, this gospel. And one thing about it, you know, the Lord is only coming back for that one third rim, the one that stayed loyal to him. The Lord will have them angels camped around you, that hedge of protection, protecting you from all these appending dangers that is happening all around the world. Same you taint, it's like a domino effect. But the Lord is constantly bringing these things to pass he's bringing forth that judgment and also the lord is getting ready what the usher in the kingdom of heaven that dwells in rice so one thing about it the lord name shall be a stronghold in times of trouble you know and the righteous run into it and it's safe you know it will keep you up uh, sustain you. It's, you know, it's, it will be that shield and buckler for you in these times. And one thing about it, we trust the Lord. We fear the Lord. And one thing about it, won't no evil come uh, 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 upon you because one thing about it, the Lord is going to be protecting you and guiding you because what? You trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Uh, verse uh, 3 says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares or the traps of the fowler and from the nuisance uh, Newsom pestilence. So the so the Lord, you know, He's telling you right here, He will deliver you. You know what I'm saying? He will sustain you in these times of trouble. Verse three, it says, I mean, so like in in the NLT, verse three, He said, "For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease." Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let's drop down to verse uh, verse six, and it says, it "said nor nor for the person that walketh in the." darkness nor for the destruction that uh wastes at noonday so one thing about the lord is going to constantly protect you and guide you through all these things you know that's why the lord said in uh i think it's what acts it's in uh acts chapter four i think around verse i can't know exactly what the verse here but anyway it said through much tribulation ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven it says here in verse in nlg it said it said do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that's that strikes at midday. So one thing about it, you know, just put your total trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The Lord is going to do the rest, even though that we're coming upon a time of trouble that we have never seen before. These uh pestilence, these disease, these plagues, even though they'll be on those every side, but the Lord said He will protect you from the same. One thing about it, we know that we're coming upon these times. We see that things is constantly increasing. We see it every day, an outbreak here or some type of event going over there. Rumors of wars are all over the place. We see that we uh, here it is at the door. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that we're living in the end time, real time. So now let's go to our last and final script. Let's go here to uh, uh, Jeremiah. We we'll close out here, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter. Jeremiah chapter 28. Jeremiah chapter 28. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse verse 8. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. It said, "The prophet that had been before me." And before the of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evils and of pestilence. That's what we constantly warn you about. We're warning you about World War Three. Also, we warning you about that evil time that we have never seen before. Jacob's trouble. You know what I'm saying? You know the hour of temptation. Also pestilence. You know also disease and plagues and sickness. You know what I'm saying? It's getting ready to what uh, take a lot of people in what in a great number. You know so the so the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. So right now the mental Lord are in the highways and the Bible making these video pistols each and every day constantly warning you left and right whether you will hear or whether you will forbear verse 9 it said the prophet which prophesied of peace uh, when the word of the prophet uh, shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him in that day they shall know that a prophet was among them because what these uh, prophecies are, manis uh, are manifesting them so they more obvious and clear we seeing that things are lining up just like clockwork we seeing that the Bible is faith and true the Lord word is not returned to him void. so we seeing that we're here so let's read in the NLT it says here Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 9 in the uh, NLT the blue letter it says so a prophet who predicts peace must show he is right. Only when his prediction come true, say, can we know that he is really from the Lord? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So they get ready to find out. You know what I'm saying? That day they shall know that a prophet was among them because what? These prophecies are coming to pass. We see it right now. All sorts of events are constantly what happening right before our eyes. We see it increased violence. We see it increased what? 
uh, 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 disease and pestilence and sickness. And also we see in what the love of many is constantly waxing colder and colder. And also the great day of the Lord is fast approaching. Our salvation is at the door. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly warn you about all these appending evils that's constantly growing all around us. Time to get your mind right. Let go of the martyr thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is Florida Dengue Alert. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kwadash. I like to say, Shalom, Shalom.